Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and today we're going to be dealing with a bundle of seatbelts. The previous owner took out the floor, they put in a new floor that plated steel and they never put the seatbelts back in. I don't even know where they go. Like this could be in the front one, it could be the back one, I have no idea. But we will figure it out and hopefully by the end of the video, all the seatbelts are back in where they should be. That's what we're doing today. For the back seat, there's two that go on the side and then one that will go through the floor somewhere, which I still have to figure out. But I have this one bolted in, very simple. Everything worked fine on it. However, the one on this side, it's a little bit different. Honestly, I was thinking like, you know what? Let's start with the easy ones, which are the back ones. What's happening is the bolt was just like super tight and then it was rusted on. So I tried all my tricks. None of them worked and that's when I decided, you know what, I'm just going to cut out the whole little piece of metal. I will refabricate a new one. Everything I do on this Wagoneer, I'm not going to take the shortcut. I'm going to try and do my best work. And right now that is what this bad guy is. Now I couldn't find an OEM bolt, but I found one that's going to work. This is just a rough mock-up of how it's going to fit. I'm going to weld some seams, uh, like the bottom and then the side. And then I think uh, for over here, I'm just going to kind of tap this in place with a hammer. Time to weld. Okay, so I just tacked it in place and then I can connect all those dots and call it a day. Okay, maybe not call it a day, but I'll call it for this seatbelt. It is so hot today. Look at how sweaty I am. You can literally see the sweat dripping off my forehead. Okay, so there it is, welded in. Kind of like Frankenstein a little bit, but it's gonna get the job done. So when it comes to welding, I'm not gonna grind it off and then re-weld it and make it look really nice because it is gonna be hidden. I just threw a nice fresh coat of paint on it. I'm gonna call that good. And then I can move on to the next part. Okay, so these are the original bolts that came with the Jeep. I don't think they're gonna work. They're hella rusty. And I got lucky because my Jeep TJ called Boomerang, I took out all the seats and seat belts to save space. I got the seat belt bolts from my TJ. They came with these little rubber spacers. I want to take a little one and I line it up with the spacer like that. It's the same size. Looks like the same thread. If these work, it's gonna make life so much easier because even if I don't have enough, I can just go to a scrap yard, take them off of a TJ or a YJ and they'll fit the bolt right up. So if you have an older Jeep, and you're trying to figure out the seat belts, I'm finding out this is a pretty good solution. I'm actually super pumped. I'm so happy that these bolts from the TJ are gonna work. It makes hunting down parts so much easier. I hope that I find other goodies like this later on down the road. So I just went to put this in. This looked a little bit funny. I just realized this spacer needs to be on the other side of this. I'll give a little bit more space against this wall. And uh, yeah, so I'll fix that. And then I'll put one on that side. Nice and adjustable. So I wasn't too sure about what a lot of these bolts were for and they are like, they are hashed. But looking under the car and I think I know what these really big rusted to nothing bolts are for. I believe that these are the old body mount bolts. I noticed about four body mounts have been replaced. Yeah, if it's not, if it's not greasy, it's rusty. Uh, except for the body mount bolts on four of them, which are nice and shiny. I'm gonna take estimated guess and say that these are the old body mount bolts. For some reason, they decided to keep them and uh, try and confuse me with them, but it's not working because I figured it out. So this is the seat belt receiver for the driver's seat. I don't know why it was wrapped in tape. It was like, they went around this thing like 10 times. I think maybe it cracked or something and they just glued it back and then they taped it for when it dried, but they never took the tape off. So 
I want to take a little bit of time cleaning this up, making it look nice and fresh. And then I can move on to connecting the ground wire. I think it goes right here, which is the seat mount for the middle seat. Here, I'm gonna be putting the rear seat back in. It just latches in here and then it folds down. Then I can kind of figure out where I wanna drill the holes in the new floor for the seat belts. I'm actually kind of amazed how nice these seat belts are. Like, for being 30 years old, that is pretty damn nice. I'm gonna put that rear seat wherever it is back in. Test fit, I got this guy buttoned up where I want these to be before I drill them. And I'm literally gonna sit in each spot and make sure that it's comfortable, it feels proper, and everything like that. Take it from there. Okay, so this is how the driver's side back seat looks uh, for that seat belt. This is the one on the other side. So very similar angle. They do move if you uh, tug them a decent amount. So this part, um, basically, where it goes is it just bolts on the floor right about here. So what I'm going to do is when it comes time to drilling these holes in the back, that's also when I want to drill these ones uh, and do all of that at once. Okay, so this is my mock-up so far for the seat belts. I have both sides attached. All the stuff in the middle is still kind of loose. That's kind of where I'm thinking of putting it. Both the sides I have done up. Basically, I'll call it for today but there is a little bit more I need to do in terms of drilling the holes in the floor. The reason why I'm not doing it today is I will only want to do this once. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. Then tomorrow I'll come back, finish up the seat belts, and we can move to the next part of this project. So that's part one of bundle of seat belts. I also need to come up with a name for the red wagoneer. So let me know what you think it should be called. And hopefully by the end of next week, It'll have a name, so I'm not just calling it the Wagoneer. I also found a scrapyard that pretty much only has Wagoneers. Next week, I can kind of make a finalization on all the parts I need so I can hit up that scrapyard and get as many parts as I can possibly get and uh, bring it back and continue working. Stay tuned, a lot of stuff still to come.